In 2025, you are going to want to sell your XRP and absolutely run for the hills, take your profits and enjoy them. Because I'm about to show all of you some irrefutable evidence, something to show that the market top will indeed be happening in 2025 and that, well, there is a ton and I mean a literal ton of historical data to prove this. And we're going to be going over absolutely everything from manufacturing cycle indexes to Bitcoin charts to XRP, you name it, we are covering it in today's video. But I put a ton of effort and research into this video. So if you could please smash that like button so everyone sees this, that'd be great. And let's get into the video. Okay, so the very first indicator that I want to show all of you guys or index is the World Manufacturing manufacturing cycle index versus the China credit impulse index. Now, when it comes to pretty much any single bull cycle, China is known as the final boss. And the reason for that is once manufacturing picks up in China, which of course affects the rest of the world because they are the manufacturing hub, that's when production truly takes off. And there's two incredibly important indicators to understand when China is picking up its manufacturing cycle. Now, number one is, of course, the manufacturing cycle index. It basically just shows when China's manufacturing is reaching all time highs. Now, one thing that you're going to notice by looking at this chart is there's a very clear correlation between the China credit credit uh, impulse index, the manufacturing cycle index, and when we are reaching a bull cycle. Historically speaking, every single time, and I mean every single time that we have been in a bull cycle, China's manufacturing cycle has started to really take off. And so when we notice a trend of China's manufacturing really starting to you know, pick up steam, that's when we know that bull cycle is very likely. And so I want to show you three examples. Number one is the 2010 uh, cycle that was right, of course, after the Great uh, Recession, which of course showed that's when uh, the manufacturing cycle was at all time lows, by the way. Uh, so that, of course, it picked up right here in, in June of 2010, and we were at near all time highs. You can check the stock markets, you can check uh, crypto cycles. We were doing incredible numbers at that time. Then, once again in 2014, it was picking up a good amount. The, the markets did indeed have a great run. Once again in 2018, 2017, that was the uh, Bitcoin bull run peak. And of course, the rest of the crypto cycle, Ethereum, all these other cryptos, XRP, were running tremendously at this time as well. Once again, of course, in 2021, our last bull cycle. And if we look at today, what you can see, well, this is, of course, February of 2025. That's the last time this uh, was uh, this this has been updated up until because it's a six month index six months forward, you can see that we're still right here. So manufacturing luckily is extremely predictive, meaning you can predict what manufacturing is going to look like for the next six months because the orders have already come in. They've already started development for that. And what you can see very clearly right here is number one, the China credit impulse index is still very low on the six month forward for February of 2025. Now, what this means is that well, it's extremely likely that it's going to be mid 2025 that we're looking at for the bull run peak, because if the demand is not there yet and China does not have to produce this, that means the liquidity is not yet available in the markets. And this is why this is such a great index. It looks six months into the future and it can basically tell you what are the markets going to look like at this time and well the markets may look slightly better than what they are today but nonetheless china still has a lot to answer for and they're printing money right now and you know their stock market's crashing so china's in a little bit of trouble at this current moment which means that yeah we could possibly see a correction like what we saw in 2020 right here you can see that the manufacturing cycle index went to all-time lows once again in may of 2020 right before the bull run right and so this is something that we really need to watch out for and this is something i'm going to talk more about in this video this is not just china but this is going to affect the rest of the world because as i mentioned china is the manufacturing hub so if they're not able to produce and people are not able to buy everyone is going to be affected now with that being said i first want to mention that right now at this current moment is indeed an absolutely amazing opportunity to go long on the markets xrp specifically is a phenomenal buying opportunity after the recent correction you can see the stochastic rsi blue line above the orange and they are intersecting right here which means yes right now is an extremely great 
buy an opportunity. So if you guys want to go long on XRP with me, which I have two long XRP positions open right now, use my Margex link down below. You're going to get XRP for trading XRP. Now, with that being said, let's talk about market cycles a little bit more. Now, there's another really incredibly important cycle, which is the real estate cycle. And this is where uh, property prices go through what's known as a recovery phase, a mid-cycle dip, an explosive phase, and a recession phase. Now, this this cycle is so scarily accurate, and it's an 18-year uh, property cycle uh, that, that happens. And if you go over the course of the last 100 years, it is so dead on, it blew my mind. You guys are welcome to do this yourself, but generally, see, the uh, real estate cycles happen right before the stock market crashes. In other words, the recession phase for the real estate markets happen before the stock market crashes. And so what we're starting to see is indeed a recession phase for real estate markets. Property sales across North America and Europe have gone down tremendously. Now, you might be wondering why that is. Well, it's actually very simple. There's been a prolonged period of time where interest rates have been very high, consumer credit card debt has been very high, and once again, there has not been that much money available for the average person in order to buy a home. And because of that, property sales are going down. So what does this lead us all to believe? Well, if we go back to the uh, the China Manufacturing Index once again, we can see very clearly that we're hitting near all-time lows if we look right here uh, for February 2025. So what this means is you know, people are not able to buy properties, businesses are not able to invest into the future, CEOs right now, nine out of 10 CEOs of large corporations are saying they're going to have to lay off a massive amount of employees because of certain the future is so uncertain because of debt prices and everything. So there most definitely is a recession in the real estate markets, which means the stock markets and the crypto markets will likely see a larger correction than what they've already seen before the year end. And the Fed is extremely likely to continue aggressively cutting rates for this reason, because they're starting to understand that this is an issue, but the damage has already been done because this is something that has been a accumulating over the course of the last couple of years while the interest rates have been so extremely high. Now, one other thing I want to show you is you know a little bit more of a bullish indicator, right? This is the 10-year treasury constant maturity maturity minus the two-year treasury constant maturity. Now, this line dead in the middle is the one that you're going to want to pay attention to because once again, if we look right here back to 2021, when the markets were at all-time highs, this blue line right here was at all-time highs once again. It, you know, the U.S. Treasury... Um, uh, purchasing is basically an indicator of how bullish people are on the U.S. economy, right? And so when this uh, when this treasury uh, indicator is at all-time lows, as we can see right here, that just basically means that people are not very confident at that time in the future of the U.S. economy because people are not uh, buying or renewing their treasuries as much as they might have previously. And when you start coming above this median line right here, well, that shows you that things are starting to get ready to take off. And so there, there's a couple important things that we need to note here. Number one, if we go back to 2020, when we're in this gray area right here, well, this is when we saw that massive market correction right before the uh, blast off in 2021, right? So just because we're above the line, it does not mean that you know markets are only bullish from here. In fact, generally speaking, right before markets are getting ready to take off and we're now just above this line, exactly where we are right now today, if you look right here on the charts, well, that is when you should actually be a little bit concerned. That's when you know a correction is probably due within a couple of months. Now, I think we're actually very likely to see the type of correction that we saw previously in 2020 in the same time frame. I think it's going to happen in February, somewhere around there, like it happened in uh, 2020, about five years later. Uh, and so that's something that we definitely wanted to keep an eye on. And this is something I'm going to update you guys on continuously because it is indeed a fantastic indicator because once we get above this point right here and the uh, index is at about like the five level or like about 50 to 60 level, that's when the bull market truly is in play. And that's when we see these absolutely insane gains like we saw in 2021, where the stock markets, crypto markets, everything was just complete euphoria mode for an extended period of time. And of course, the indicator got to 1.5. Absolutely unreal. First time in history that has happened. But nonetheless, we have a lot more liquidity available to markets today than we did previously. It's just we need the interest rates to go down. Now, 
We're going to get into cryptocurrency specifically because there are some absolutely phenomenal indicators that are extremely accurate. And when I say extremely accurate, I mean like within one to two days, it has predicted every single top in the cryptocurrency bull market history period ever, right? And so this is a uh, sine waves indicator okay and so if we look at this this is a having cycles theory uh and, and it's, it's called the sine wave theory now i'm going to read to you guys what this is <clears throat> and so you guys can kind of make up your mind on what you think about it but it's really interesting so we can see sine waves are one of the clearest ways to show the cycles of the having cycles theory now now more than ever it is apparent which cycle we are following Sites are locked on 2015, 2018. Now, this is from an older post. Um, the 2019 bias has now all been but extinguished. And if you've been following BitTime, you would have known that we should be rallying at this point. BitTime says that cycles are extremely similar when they alternate. But here you can see that all cycles resemble each other, centered around the date of the first and second halving, November 28th, 2012, July 9th, 2016. The, this time is different people will be back with a vengeance soon with etfs looming but remember it's not different until it is and if you think this way you'll have a much better chance of being successful everything is right on track now what is this track that they are referring to well there's a couple important dates right here number one this sine waves uh signal this was in november of 2023 that they made this post right they said we are here and this is the median red line now they're saying november 28th uh, 2024 is going to be a time to really look out for as is uh november 28th uh 2026 but what are they essentially predicting here is that the market top is actually going to be november 28th 2025 which is actually closer to the year end now if you look at the red dot on screen right here this is pretty much predicted every single cycle top you can see right here but back in uh, 2018, 2017, uh, you can see back here, back in 2013, you can see back here, of course, you know, it, it's just, it's been almost every single time dead on. If you just look at the red uh, dot right here, that has per like been perfectly on point every single time. And of course, it is predicting that November 28th is actually going to be a more bullish time. There might be a little bit of a correction until then. And then November 28th, 2025 is going to be like what we saw back um, in the last bull run in 2022 uh, and 2021, of course, November 28th right here. Now, if you guys were around during this period of time, you'll know that altcoins, Bitcoin, everything went so parabolic. It was like insane. Nobody knew what was going to happen next. People thought Bitcoin was going to go to $100,000. It was absolutely unreal. And, you know, if we look at this uh, chart right here, well, it's showing that Bitcoin is likely to go to about $120,000 in November 28th um, of 2025. And so that's really great to know. I mean, for all of you guys, that's actually extremely bullish, right? Now, why is this so bullish? Well, it essentially gives everyone here a really strong indicator that we can continue to accumulate Bitcoin for the next almost like a oh, year and one month, right? That, that is phenomenal. But, and, and XRP and, you know, whatever other cryptocurrency, because I want to remind you guys, um, this November uh, peak that we saw previously in 2021, that's when uh, Solana did its 100x. That's when XRP, you know, went above like two dollars. You know, that's when we had absolutely insane euphoria across the market. Everything was running at this time, and so there's actually a lot of potential to make some 100x gains during the same period of time, November of 2025. So we definitely got to look out for that specific date. But there's one more indicator that's so important and so accurate for Bitcoin and every single other cryptocurrency as well. Now, this is the Bitcoin Pi Cycle Top Indicator. Now, what you can see is this indicator. What it is, um, is it uses the 111-day moving average, the 111 DMA, and a newly created multiple of a 350-day moving average, the 350 DMA X2. Now, what you'll see here is every single time, once again, that these two lines have intersected, these two moving averages, it has been a market top. It happened right here. April of 2013. It happened right here, November 22nd of 2013, or December, sorry, of 2013, right here. It happened right here, December 5th of 2017. It happened right here again, uh, Thursday, April 15th, 2021. And as you can see right now, uh, on today's date, we are not intersected right now. You know, we're still, you know, cruising along and we still have some time to go. This chart also 
confirms the theory that the sine waves theory is showing right here, which has once again been dead accurate as well. So, in summary, it's looking like mid to late 2025 is going to be the cycle top. Everything supports this theory. If you're looking at the manufacturing index, which has been dead accurate as we've gone over, if you look at the 18 year uh, recession phase for properties, it once again supports this. By the way, real estate is going to be a phenomenal opportunity if any of you guys are real estate investors. If you look at the 10 year treasury constant maturity minus the two year treasury constant maturity, it supports this. And if we look at the sine waves and the pi cycle indicator, all of it. It all supports this theory. So with that being said, it's great for us to continue dollar cost averaging in, buying cryptocurrency every single day. If you do want to go long right now, it's a phenomenal time to do so. Like It is a great time to go long XRP right now at this moment. It's a phenomenal opp opportunity. Same with Bitcoin, actually. Uh, Bitcoin does have a pretty solid opportunity to go long on it right now as well, following this little red candle that we had. It is possible we'll get one more red candle. I do want to point that out. But nonetheless, a $62,000 Bitcoin right now is actually a phenomenal buy too. So I'm inviting all of you guys to open those trades using my Margex link. If you do that, you're going to get free crypto for doing that and just... $100 for signing on and depositing and doing all that wonderful stuff. So make sure to sign in, deposit using my Margex link. And guys, also join my Discord community. It should be up here. <laughs> if you guys click on that, I provide all of my trades for you guys that I'm opening up and you guys get that information for free. All you need to do is once again, sign up to Margex. Smash that like button, subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.